Hey guys, it is Drew here and I'm here to make a video today about five creative writing books that I would definitely recommend for writers and artists really of any kind because I think a lot of them can be um, used for whether you're writing a novel, story, poem, whether you're creating a piece of art with words, um, whether you're journaling tapping into other other stories so I'm gonna get straight on with it um, as always it's really late at night and I um, feel like I need to make a video <laughs> so I can sort of um, share what I'm gonna say because that's great English <laughs> um, okay so <laughs> so the first book I'm gonna show you guys is uh, a fairly new one I picked it up this year uh, I tend to sort of go in spurts when it comes to book buying and I don't really like to buy like um, books on novel writing much anymore like I feel like I've read so many in my life that I kind of have an idea of like what the structure is and I was I, I always believe that you have an innate story structure in yourself so it comes out anyway it's just about organizing it really um, and this is called The Soul Soul of Place, a creative writing workbook. Now, I've done a couple of the exercises because the one thing I really like about this book is it comes from a um, it comes from a psychology, fairy tale, mythology, um, metaphysical. Uh, what does it say? Theater. It comes from a lot of different aspects, so it's not just like a travel writing book where you're like, you know, tell me about this building. It's it there's so much to it. Um, like I said, I've only read a little bit of it because it is depthy. It, it takes you on a journey. Um, one of the exercises I did to start with is um, are there any places that give you a sense of wholeness and empowerment of where you really feel you? Others where you feel depleted, sad, or anonymous. Make a list of both categories and then choose from one to, from each to work within. Reflect on the essential qualities of each place and the origins of those qualities. Then write a short text of 200 words for each place you have chosen. Describe the atmosphere. Narrow in an episode that happened there. Describe your feelings or simply make it a list of impressions, people, or things you associate it with. Put your writing aside for a few days and if possible revisit the site you described. Then go back and reread what you wrote. Have you learned something new about yourself? And that makes me think like of the work that I'm doing within my story and the astral and the dreaming and connecting. Um, because in particular, I actually have a an astral place that I go to, not in my dreams, but in my meditations all the time. And I thought that it would be really interesting to try that out too because that place gives me a sense of wholeness and whenever I do tend to do meditations, um, especially guided meditations, I tend to go to that place. It's something that I've set up there, it's something that I feel safe in, it's a nourishing cottage um, that has woods around it and meadows and it just feels very home to me. And I did this exercise a couple of weeks ago with some places that I have been in the physical world, but you can really take it... Um, into your fictional world as well, which I a lot of these books that I love to buy have a lot of exercises in them, but you can really make them your own depending on what you're working with. And so that was just one of the that was a pre preliminary exercise. Um, she talks about the spirit of a place to start with, and how to read a landscape, and that's where I'm up to now reading landscapes. And yeah, I bought this book because I really want to sort of um, get more into the world building. But to world build as well, you sort of need to um, take in the actual world that we live in as well. So if you are someone who loves scenes or writing scenes or needs help with writing scenes um, or traveling or whatnot, I definitely recommend picking up this book. And it's also a great book for photographers too because it has... Um, pictures in there and it gave me some ideas about like possibly making my own ah, folder of, of images that I take as well to um, 
work on when I'm working with this exercise, these exercises. <laughs> the next book that I'm going to recommend with to you guys is Journal to the Self, 22 Paths to Personal Growth by Kathleen Adams. It's um, Open the Doors to Self-Understanding by Writing, Reading and Creating a Journal of Your Life. And uh, what I love about this book is it goes into the premise of um, the 79 cent therapist which is basically like a spiral bound book like with any notebook you can just go anywhere like a pen and a notebook you can, can just go anywhere and so the next section is a journal toolbox and this is basically a whole ton of different ways that you can come at journaling and writing so she um, talks about springboards, character sketcher, sketches, clutching, captured moments, dialogue lists Dream of Consciousness, Stepping Stones, Time Capsules, Topics, Du Jour, Unsent Letters, Perspectives and Dreams and Imagery. And then there's a um, couple of essays, um, The Five Stages of, of Grief, Healing Childhood Wounds Through jour Journaling and Journal Writing for Adults, Adult Children with Alcoholics. Of Alcoholics with Alcoholics. So it has a few elements to it as well. But I have used uh, a lot of this as well in my fiction writing. Um, it is very, very powerful stuff. Um, where's... Like, she has lots of lists and questions. I particularly love the char character sketch because it talks about um, projection and shadow as well. Um, getting to know the parts of yourself. Enhanced relationships with character sketches. And a lot of these books that I'm mentioning right now, um, I'm going to sort of dip back into and read a little bit because I would like to use them um, during this month with the Daily Creative Challenge. And I thought um, one of the things I want to do is to connect with the characters in the tower, but create characters from them. Not particularly to actually put in my novel, but to sort of take with me to um, my meditation spot, my actual spots, my story and whatnot. So you can definitely check that one out, and I really, really love this one. I'm like, I'm still reading through the um, essays. So the third book that I want to talk about is again, um, as you can see, I don't really read them very fast. I I love to just dip in when I feel like I want to. It's called Writing from the Senses: Fifty Nine Exercises to Sorry, Ignite Creativity and Revitalize Your Writing by Laura Dush, Dush, Dush. I can't say that name. Dutch, Dutch. And this is what it says on the tin, basically. It's 50, uh, 59 exercises and it's broken up into the senses. So you've got your sight, sound, smell, taste, touch. And then it talks about the symphony of senses, motion, and rework how to rework the material that you write while you're doing this. And it has, this book has, um, it will, she'll talk a little bit, then she'll have some examples from her students, and then she'll go into the exercise at the end. So, um, one of the exercises, for example, are here are two subjects who you can describe or use as prompts to propel you in, into a story your father's car, a childhood bedroom. And she sort of gets you to do other things as well, like free writing and mapping out things and drawing things as well. So, and for me, again, um, senses are really important when you are writing, whether you're writing for yourself or you're writing for other people. And I, I, just, I still tend to be very much in the mind and I want to bring more sensory images into uh, my writing and the tarot is definitely help with that but um, it's always handy to have a book like this fourth is um one that i really like because it has a again it has a double perspective that you can dive into it you can either go into it writing the story with of your life like um sort of like you know your personal stories and shifting those or you can do it in the character's perspective. And he really kind of um, balances those both out really well. Like he'll talk about a character, he'll talk about his writing life, his experiences, his personal experiences as, as a writer and developing characters. And he'll talk about um, 
exercises and things that you can do from the character's perspective and how those two blend together. And I really love this book for that reason because it's very much in alignment with where I feel, um, you know, even if you're writing a story, you're still, part of you still writing about things that you need to know or um, want to know. And that's why I write as well because I like to find out things. I like to journey. I like to learn. And I'm very curious. So uh, a dynamic journey, uh, dynamic creative journey. And this one is, again, exercise filled. But um, there's lots of quotes. <coughs> Sorry. Um, this one was like exploring our relationship with, with desire, the name of desire. Um, it does go into like um, the acts and the structure, but it's really about taking that hero's or heroine's journey and breaking it up into um, exploring it in your own life as well as your characters. So like, let me find this thought. It's very heart-based as well, like uh, start at the ending, your heart-based intention. So it's perfect for journaling, it's perfect for legacy writing, um, purging resistance, I really love that. Why we don't write a glimpse at the creative ag antagonist. Um, I love this quote. I wish I could show you when you are lonely or in the darkness, the astonishing light of your own being. Beautiful. So it's, he, he is very grounded um, in a psychological, metaphysical sense as well, which is another reason why I love this book. And... I am not even close to getting very far in it, but I definitely want to be working with it this month. And lastly, one of my all-time favourite books, but it's not so much a book as a kit, and I always recommend this. I think I've recommended it in tons of videos um, on my very, very old channel, Bitten by Book Lust. It has lots of writing um, information on it. But it's called Do Writers Retreat Kit, A Guide for Creative Exploration and Personal Expression. This is one of the first writing books I ever bought for myself. And it has never failed to be what I've needed it to be. <laughs> you basically get um, 20 cards. It's like a little oracle, really. Well, a large oracle. You get 20 cards. And they have different themes. So this would be like a change of seasons, family stories, gifts of the night, food, and planting seeds and tending gardens. Okay, so let's take this one for example. And then it'll have 20, um, 20 prompts to, to relate to that. So a couple is that are uh, turning soil, Remember, it is forbidden to live in a town which has no garden or greenery. Write about pulling weeds. Write about scattering seeds. Write about the sound of seeds exploding. So it has a couple of different um, quotes. Very basic, like write about this. Um, and sort of meditative things as well. Like, it's a hot summer day, you're in a garden. Um, night scented flowers so you can really go lots of places with these as well and i haven't even touched the surface with these and i've had them for probably going on eight years now and then with it you get the book that goes with it now the book is broken up into um, each card section and that starts at uh, part two and i'll just go to the page 41. Okay, so it's based around the principle that you'd go for retreats. It's like a little mini writing retreat. And so um, she breaks it down to time away, a day retreat, a mini retreat, um, a re retreat at home. She talks about provision practices and other creative nourishments to sort of uh, add to the element of that retreat, um, entering it exiting it, some exercises as well that you might want to use while um, working with these prompts. So you could kind of take this, one of these cards and this book and kind of build your writing experience of that day around that, which I find really, really, really helpful. And I have done a few of these writing retreats where I have had a day or 10 minutes or I've gone away to a hotel and done it. 
and I've really, really, really enjoyed it. Most of the time I'm not working on a manuscript, like I, I sort of, these days I'm not working actively on um, the manuscript itself because I've already got the first draft written and I've already got the first draft of the other part of the series written. It's mainly about sort of fixing things on the outside so that I can fix them on the inside. And it's, I just love writing, so it's really fun. And I, I think this, this is pretty inexpensive. And like this, I've had it for eight years, like I said, and I can still go back to the same cards and the same questions and the same prompts and have a different experience. So really this 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 alone like if you were to not buy any of the other books i definitely recommend this one alone because you can do so much with this and i may even chat about this on my instagram or post something up because i do i'm feeling like i want to use it a, um, a lot more especially with this month and even though i'm using tarot and relying on my intuition and imagery as well I sometimes find it really fun to mix up tools that you have because it sort of reminds you of, or at least it reminds me of um, the resources that I do have and sometimes my intuition and my spirit wants me to combine a lot of things. Sometimes I don't know, maybe just one line might be what gets me started and it might be a prompt off that card or um, maybe I feel like I want to go into retreat mode because I have a day off or something like that. And I want to build a foundation around it and I want some ideas about how I can do that. Um, focusing on a particular topic or area um, that is relating to my story. And again, like like an oracle card or tarot deck, that, those prompts are so spot on. Like They have never let me down in that regard. I have pulled them out and written passages of them randomly and they have connected with my stories. And it's just been a really fun experience. So... Um, that's it. I know it was a very quick video. 17 minutes is very quick for me. Uh, but I hope that you enjoyed that. Uh, you can probably find out some more of my experience with these with these books. But if you do want to know a little bit more about them, I think you can probably find reviews or check them out on Amazon. Um, I don't really know much else to say about them because I, again, it's very personal experience that I've had with them and, and I have been working with these for at least a couple of years except for the the few that I've just bought this year and to find all my writing that is connected to those books would take me forever because I have crates literally crates and boxes of writing so I don't really want to wade through those but um yeah definitely check those out and if you have some books that you'd like to recommend that relate to writing or metaphysical or journaling or tarot journaling um, or fiction creating that are very different from your traditional, you know, this is how you write a novel. I would love to hear from you guys and I will talk to you later. Bye.